Howdy folks, welcome back to the Taylor Burke Show to the Show Series and MLB 23 PS5 episode 305. In the last one, we got a dub against the Astros thanks to a beautiful ninth inning rally. Uh, thank you, Bobby Turner, <laughs> is all I have to say. Um, he's actually gotten it going lately. We'll check their stats closer to the All-Star break. But we've got a four-game series here against the Angels. We don't get to pitch there. We get to pitch in Chicago against the White Sox uh, to open that series. So... One game below 500. Let's get to at least 500 today. Beautiful. Good win. And another good win, and we're over 500. And another one. Two shutouts in a row. Chance now. Another win on a shutout. And wow, that was amazing. Chance down to a 4.28 ERA from a 4.75. Great for him. Great pitching performances from the Mariners. And this is this just shows you how quick things can turn. We are now tied for first in the West. Let's check out what this White Sox team has to offer. A chance for a 5-0 and o episode. That would be amazing, obviously. Uh, Hunter Green has not pitched great this year, but overall has been a good signing for uh, the White Sox. Will Smoke, very good pitcher, Noah Schultz. Uh, Oscar Noah and Taylor Dollard, former teammate Taylor Dollard. Their bullpen is not good. They have Johnny Roberts um, back in this very week. I know this lineup isn't too bad, though. Glaber Torres is still playing. Going to be a 2,000-hit career kind of guy. Wow, that's insane. And 300 home runs. Uh, Akil Badu, C.J. Abrams uh, is pretty solid. Brian Ramos is good. Gavin Sheets, Wes Kath, uh, Christian Encarnacion Strand, Pedro Leon, and Nick Fortes. They are missing Luis Robert. First off, have we made a trade? No. They're missing Lubob. No, he's... Oh, he fractured his hand. He's only had a few more days. So we might actually get to see him. So, we'll see. Let's do this, man. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it again. All right. We ball. And we welcome you to the south side of Chicago and guaranteed rate field. We've got baseball on the show. It's the Seattle Mariners going up against the Chicago White Sox. Alongside Chris Singleton, I'm John Shelby, and we could be in for a pitcher's duel in this one, partner. Both of these arms very capable of controlling the game. All right, the mound. let's ball. Three. Two on, cannot score him. Here's Glaber Torres. No Pinto behind the plate. It'll be Caleb Hamilton Torres and all that control. Kind of gone. Back in 2016. So we now have ownership, of, sole ownership of the lead in the AOS by a half a game on two separate teams. And only four and a half on the next. So glad to be up there, but we've got to keep winning if we want to have the division. Right. A 4 and 1 episode is a great way to do it. A 5 and 0 oh episode is even better. Way better. That's what Taylor's hoping to accomplish today. Can't find the zone. Here we go. There's a strike. Before you get all happy, you're gonna be swinging out your shoes. It's a changeup, though. We get a call. Thank you, Blue. Popped up. Taylor is somewhat on it. Two down. But it's the pitcher that makes the play. Two down. No winner, CJ Abrams to hit. He swings and misses at the first pitch. 0 and 1. And that's a strike. Clayton Torres is one of the most underrated players in the game. He's been consistently. Top seven at his position, top five maybe, a lot of years at second base for his whole career. I mean, 
almost 300 home runs from that position is great. And nearly 2,000 hits. Fun guy to watch taking at bat. He just battles up there. He doesn't take a pitch off at all. Makes it so difficult. I can be a Hall of Famer, there. but still with how long it takes absolutely to phenomenal. The one, two. one two to Abrams. The changeup is and low. Now two and two. <laughs> Try cutter low and in. And now it's Bill Not go. Wow, this guy's really battling up there as if his run is the game winning run. I love his tenacity. Abrams got a good piece, but under it is who is that? Vaughn Brown. And that is that. Leave that's Vaughn Brown out and right. And it'll in out. Bobby Turner continues to help us. It is Vaughn Brown. Here's how we line up on defense. Stay hot, Bob. Well, this pitching staff blinked the Angels in three straight games. Can Taylor keep the scoreless streak alive? It's up to the middle. Base hit for the Sox. Well, I've talked about Bobby heating up, and you got to realize from where he started, um, he wasn't quite here, you know. So now up at like a 7.06, or set higher than that, 7.10 OPS or so. Good for him. He still got the run at that second. Good job, blocking Way to stay with it. Good job to stay with it and make sure you got at least one. West Cat in the box now. No balls in a strike. Good pitch. Sheets at first, one gone. Can't connect on the curveball, struck him out. Well, it can be so tough as a hitter to pull yourself out of an extended slump, one that lasts for Shrek Mount. games, even a week oh, or more. Our former friend says, one, so sure we sure did enjoy playing with him in Baltimore. He was good for us. It's on a good run here lately. That one misses. Three balls Umpire is not feeling it. There's a strike. One way to make a guy real uncomfortable to play is pound him inside with good velocity. They're doing that right here. Next offering, pop foul off to the right out of play. In the air, out so that's got center. a good piece, no but it'll be it. played by Petey. We're still up one nothing. A lot of pitches thrown for Taylor in the first couple innings, but no real threat. Here on the south side, set for the bottom of the third, and here's the veteran outfielder, Pedro Leon. Need some quick outs for Taylor. That plus zero control. It's going to be tough with Caleb Hamilton behind the plate. This one popped up. Foul ground. You getting there, Joaquin? Thank you. And in foul ground, he pulls it down. One out. Nick Fortet steps to the plate for the White Sox. Good eye right there. Fortes, a former gold glove winner, 34 year old vet. Gold glove back in 2023. He's had a good career. He's honestly being good with his glove. He's made good money as well. Nick Fortes, 71 overall. Still all right with his glove. Put up, putting up okay numbers this year. 674 career OPS. I mean, he'll take that. And a one, one, two, two to Nick. That Slider does not go where I wanted it to, but it's right a game, so two down. And there's two down. Back to the top of the lineup. And now here is Labor Torres. Just missed. And it's fouled away. One to one to the leadoff. Nope. Yeah, control is not there today. 
That's being exhibited pretty clearly, but we have three scoreless, so it is what it is. Back here at the ballpark, ready to go, bottom four. Now here is Akil Badu. That one's in there. Strike one. Our pitching, which has not been great this year, by the way, has looked amazing in the past few games. This has probably pulled our team rankings a long way up, you know, like probably 19th or something in Team ERA prior, and now we're like 14th or something. I mean, we haven't given up a run in 27 innings, now 30. And then Taylor's trying to make it 31. Bryson Stott is amazing over there. And he makes the play. Two down. 99 glove, man. That's why we love him. At the plate for the second time as he takes ball one. All right, one one. Here's the swing but we are tied. Brian is all over it, and just like that, no more shutout. He circles the bases, home run number 15 on the year, and it ties it up. It's one one. Well, if there's one problem that Taylor has had all year, it has been the long ball. Well, Ramos just turned on that fastball and exposed it. We're all knotted at ones. In the box here, lets that one go for a ball. That ball's that's one of the hardest hit balls I've seen off of Taylor. Get out of it though. So we're all tied at ones. But Caleb Hamilton drives in another, so make it two one. Down the third baseman, Wes Cat. Ball one, no strikes. Well, it's been a very impressive outing so far. His command has been a big part of it. Even when he misses, he misses outside the Now that's hit hard. Vaughn didn't get a good jump on it, and it's off of his glove. And I wish we had Michael Harris out there. It's been a tough stretch to play lately. Pretty much just a textbook double into the gap, and when you can drop one in there between the outfielders, he's in Carnassi on Strand. Just an excellent swing. Now a pretty big at bat coming up with the chance to even this ball game up. And a foul ball. Runner at second, nobody out. That's off three misses, and that's ball two. On the ground, right side. It's fair down the line. We are tied. A couple plays that could have been made. That weren't, and this is all tied up. Shoot, man. I want to go 5-0 and oh so bad. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of a double play here. That one missed. Runner at first with no outs here. One, two. On the ground, ground Stotty. One and two. Good turn. I think four, six, three, the bases are clear. Way tougher than these guys make it look sometimes because no matter how you do it, the feed from the second baseman is a tough one. Well, Taylor doesn't have it today, straight up. We need that at least plus five in control. That's a hit. But it doesn't get much luckier than that. Oh, he didn't get much of that one, but it's going to look like a line drive at the box score tomorrow. With the way defenders track down balls these days, I mean, both from the infield and in the outfield, there really aren't a lot of base hits on balls hit like that. But there's always a little room back behind the first and second baseman to drop a long dart in there, and he found a way. Try to beat him upstairs. The one fouled off. Fouled off. And a pitch. Swing and a 
him is. He swung over top. <sighs> we give up another one. Taylor's frustrated for sure. Well, we go bottom six, leading off a kill Badu. Strike one. Badu, 32 years old, and he was a second round pick back in 2016. The old one is outside, and it's a ball and a strike. Can't really even promise that we're gonna get through six or get through seven. So let's just make the most of what we can do here. Make sure we at least keep it a two-run or keep it tied. That's trouble again. Uh, Gunner gets there. Makes the grab on the run. So digging in, C.J. Abrams. First offering misses the mark. On the corner for a strike. Popped up. I got it, I got it. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. Two away. So two down now. So we should get the throw a seven. I, you're not getting anything that you can go deep with, Brian. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Ramos measures six feet two inches. 190 pounds, and he mm. took home the silver slugger last year in the American League. We'll try it again. He was late, so. There's it's okay, cool. Now. One, two. Pitch is taken low. Two balls, two strikes to count with two outs. Right hander kicks deal. Two, two. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. Let's see if we can get him here. And another ball. See how the catcher wanted that pitch up and not quite. Three, two, off. two down. That's one thing we're seeing that high fastball. You have to get That's it up popped there up, so it's an easy chance. play for Vaughn Brown. All right, six Big innings catch, up and six ball. innings down, and we are still tied at twos. A double, but Caleb cannot get him in. Back here on the south side, set for the last half of the seven. Sheets likes to extend his arms. First pitch, we're gonna let him. Sheets tries to check his swing. And now that he thinks ah, he's gonna go outside, pull it back in on him. Thank you. Gunner's got it. One down. Makes the grab. Yeah, there's one away. Now got it. Third baseman. Here's the third baseman, Wes Cat. Okay. We're getting some calls now. I guess that's really the first one. We also got a swing that I didn't think was a swing. So good eye right there. Why to kick the pitch? And account. Not our best pitch. Left hand hitter waits. One two. Hacks and misses. It's a strike. Check him out. Number 94 steps to the plate for the White Sox. And that's in there for strike one. 0 oh, 1. Up, Up the, the middle. middle. Stop on the backhand. And we will head to the eighth. Might be it for Taylor. We'll see. Nothing going for the Mariners. Bryce Miller. Uh oh. Uh oh. He got out of it. Two-run shot, Gabe Gonzalez. And just like that, it's a two-run game. Marnaccio gives up a triple, but holds on here to win it for the Mariners. 4-2, to two, and it's a 5-0 and o episode for, for the Seaman. So long from the south side of Chicago. Seven innings, five hits, no walks, two earned, and only four Ks for Taylor today is Bryce Miller. Gets the win. Marnaccio gets his 21st save of the year. We are kind of approaching the uh, halfway point on the year in terms of games. 5-0 uh, episode's nice because now we're four games above 500. Um, so we're 38-34. and 34. We've got two more against the White Sox, two against the a pretty good San Francisco team, and then we get to throw against a pretty good San Diego team on the road so that's just the way it is for uh 
for next episode, but uh, that will probably... Let me, let me do this math real quick. Not yet, but we're close to coming to the halfway point on the year, the episode following that. Well, if you like the video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. That's it for me. That's Taylor Brooks, episode 305 in the books.